Well, hello and good morning to you. Uh, Jake here with you for another edition of Demco Model Works. Uh, just going to take a, a little bit of a video this morning um, to kind of show you the different paints that I use. Um, I know probably a, some, a lot of you are, you know, a lot of you that do this for uh, all the time pretty much know everything there is to know about, uh, you know, what you see here in front of you. But uh, for the new ones, I've seen a lot... Of, I've seen a lot of of uh, of the new ones that that are just getting into this, talking about the diff, you know, uh, talking about when they do the the uh, refit and the uh, Aztecing, and I want to talk to y'all a little bit about this Perlex powder pigment uh, and the differences between uh, pearlescent paints and iridescent paints. Now. Like I said, Pearlex has two different kinds of paints. This is the, this one is the pearlescent paint, powder pigment, and you can see, uh, you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit here, so you can see, uh, just how dark that is. Now, when you try to spray that, and you put, you know, you mix this in with whatever you're going to mix it in with. When you try to spray this, it's going to be very prominent, very bright, very green I mean you're gonna know it's, it's gonna be very dark and that's not the right for the refit that's not the right color for uh, oh, excuse me the iridescent paints the ones that you need are the interference colors uh, the interference gold the interference green the blue the interference red and you can see the difference here uh, between the two and this one is pretty much, the, this is the one that uh, a lot of people are using now. Um, you know, they, they, they've used this with a lot of different things. And as you can see here, they use it, uh, some, some of it will use the Pledge, Revive It, which used to be the Future. Um, a lot of people will use the, uh, the All Clad 2 Lacquer, uh, the Clear Coat. Uh, a lot of people will use that and uh or you can use the acrylic uh gloss clear for your base so you guys you don't want to put a whole bunch in uh you want to make sure you find a uh, uh with these this this stuff lasts forever and uh you know you want to make sure you measure it out with uh with a um measuring spoon i've got the the eighth teaspoon here or you can do the 16th uh, just depends on how you know how you want to to measure it out. Now, guys, before uh, before you go and start spraying this on your on your model, make sure you test it out to make sure um, uh, on a on a separate piece or something you know a separate piece of uh, sheet styrene or a separate you know spare piece of uh, model that you might have because you can. Um, you can do it to where there's not enough and you can put these in there until there's not enough in there uh, I've started mixing these and I had to experiment on it uh, <clears throat> and come to find out that uh, I have to have pretty much uh, two and a half of those um, uh, one eighth teaspoons to make it look to make it look good so you if you don't put enough you're not gonna see anything you're just gonna be spraying your You'll just be seeing your your base, you know, your base is like your future, and and so on. So, but that's just a little bit on that one, uh, on those uh, powder pigments. Now, the one that everybody uses, and the ones that I really highly recommend, is the Polytranspar by. Uh, I'm gonna get into the. It's always, it's always weird doing this because you got to go backwards to get into shot, but uh, <clears throat> the Polytranspar by McKenzie Taxidermy. That's uh, pre-mixed and ready to spray on. Uh, you don't have to thin it out uh, if you don't want to. It's, it's ready to go, but now you will have to get something uh, and stir it up at the bottom. I mean, you're, you're not going to be able to, to just shake it up. You will have to get something like a, a what I get is these skewers for barbecuing, and I'll use my tip on it, and I will get down in there and stir that sediment up because if you if you don't you're just going to be spraying uh, a metallic 
look on these and you won't get your color so you have to really shake these up and uh, once you get this powder pigment stirred up in it you have to give it a good you know a good hard shake to get all get it all uh, distributed uh, distributed throughout the throughout the uh, throughout the bottle so that we get it a nice even spray now they do have another one that's made by this uh, the polytransport it isn't a, a they make it lacquer base which is what these are and then they have the acrylic now the acrylic ones are you know the same thing pre-made all this kind of you know same same stuff uh, except for the base is uh, water based it's an, uh, a, a water base so uh, with those you have to uh, pretty much spray on in light coats because it's so thin uh, but with the uh, lacquer base it's you know you pretty much you, you spray it on and, it, and, and it's dry pretty much instantly but it will leave a little bit of attack until it's completely cured so uh, but they have these you want the um, with the polytranspar if you uh, want to take note and I'll put these up in the at the end of for the for the uh, what numbers they are uh, and it's the same number for the acrylic as it is for the uh, ear, um, lacquer based and that's the that's the uh, you want the sh shimmering colors you want the shimmering blue shimmering gold shimmering red and green uh, and they numbers range from 440 to 443 so those are the ones that you want from there you know for that so um, that's you know my the my favorite ones that I use now they are a little bit expensive it's uh you know I think seven dollars almost eight dollars for a four ounce bottle um, so you don't need these these four ounce bottles will do you know quite a few ships I mean you can get at least you know four or five ships out of it. so these the four ounce bottles will will last now I'll tell you with the 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 blue because it being the primary color on the refit you will go through um, you will go through more blue and gold than you will the green and the red so um, and one of these days I will take y'all through and show y'all how I spray uh, the blue on the refit uh, because it being such a big saucer you can't you know a lot of people will use uh, will spray one pie wedge at a time and the only problem with that is you may have a variance in color uh, you may have a real nice one and everything's covered nice and neat and then the other one the next pie wedge may not be you may have uh, variances throughout the throughout the pie wedge so I use my uh, for for to spray that on I will use my high volume low pressure uh, spray gun for that with my uh, you know my compressor so but anyway that's just for that and here's another option too that um, uh, I've come familiar with and I, I like these you have to add a little bit of powder pigment to them uh, because they come out uh, they come out dried with a, the, the hammered look I and mean, if you the ones that have done this before if you know what I'm talking about the that hammered spray um, it doesn't come out it doesn't come out uh, you know nice and easy but uh, there's a couple things that you can do and I'm, this is the uh, dollar roundy uh, I don't know, I guess it's Data Roundy. It's the FW uh, Acrylic Artist Ink. And uh, this stuff, you can find it at Michael's. Uh, it comes in a it comes in a six pack. It comes in uh, with your iridescent colors and then a black uh, and then I believe a violet too. So, but this uh, this stuff, is it's a good one. You, like I said, you have to add a little bit of um, powder pigment to it if you can get it. And uh, it sprays on real nice. Now you have to kind of hold your airbrush back with these a little bit. You have to hold your airbrush back just a little bit. And uh, Gary over at Mask Design is uses these, and he was telling me that you need to uh, to work real well with this to use a .06 uh, needle in your airbrush. Uh, that way, it, you know, because if it comes out too, you know, the too small of a needle then it will do that 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 uh, hammered look so make sure when you use this you it, it, it you turn your pressure down to about 8 to 10 psi and use your uh, you know hold it back and then use a bigger needle if you can 
So, but uh, this company's been around. I looked them up, and this company's been around since seven, the late 1700s. So, uh, it, you know, it's a very, very sturdy, you know, very good ink, uh, artist ink here. It, it is the shimmering colors as well, the shimmering red, blue, gold, and green. So, but, um, and that, the base in the, and these uh, FWs are uh, acrylic gloss, which is pretty much you can get uh, with the, can't get it now because the Model Masters is gone, but if you can find an acrylic gloss somewhere, that'll be you know that's what that's what the bases of are in here so but uh, anyway a lot like I said uh, the bases that we can use we'll go through those just real briefly uh, a lot of a lot of the builders out there uh, use the the future uh, and it is a good it, it is a very good it drives you know it's self leveling and it drives very nice uh, very nice and it gives a real nice uh, sheen to the ship so, but you can find this at Walmart or Lowe's Home Depot, uh, but they've renamed it to the Revive It, and so that's what they renamed uh, from the future. So, if you can't find future, that's why, because this is this is it. So, and then uh, we have our all-clad uh, two lacquer uh, clear coat. Uh, this stuff is, you know, it's it's very thick. So, what you have to do is when you uh, if you use this stuff in with the the powder pigments uh, you need to put it in uh, you know mix it up real well and then add just a few drops of lacquer thinner to kind of thin it out just a little bit because like I said it is thick and it will gum up your airbrush really really fast I, I found that out so but uh, this one is a is a is a very good one you can find these online uh, I got mine at my Hobby Lobby they run about eleven dollars but you will go through these very fast mixing your paint so uh, you know, you might want to buy a couple of these to 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 uh, you know go from you know to to mix them up with that way you have enough. So, all right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. This was just a quick just a quick thing on how you know I've had several questions asked me how I uh, how you know what I use for my 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 base uh, my my iridescence and stuff and um. You know, so if you have any questions uh, that you want asked, or if you want, you know, uh, about certain things that I use, please by all means uh, leave me a note in the, you know, at the bottom, and uh, or you can uh, email me, or if you're on Facebook, you can uh, find me at, at Jake Demco, or leave me a question in my uh, Demco Model Works Facebook group, or you can email me, and I will put. Uh, I will put my email address up here at the end of the video along with the, the numbers for the um, polytranspar. So, but uh, alright guys, well that's going to about wrap it up for this video. Uh, we'll get back to the the uh, Spartan plane project here in the next couple of days. Uh, uh, I've had to kind of take a break on that because I've had a lot of things going, you know, I had to get things uh finished up here and still got quite a bit to finish up um so uh like i said after you know i get these four refits done we're going to be switching gears here and doing something else and going from there so but uh anyway guys well that'll do it and uh we will holler at you in a couple of days and uh as always you guys take care stay safe and happy modeling everybody